Hi everyone, it is Saturday, December 20th, and I have one day until I head home to see my family for a week, so I won't have any updates during that week, but I will be back around the 29th of December and getting some stuff done, and showcases and everything will be done around then. But, got some personal stuff going on here, with the N3 book came this exclusive miniature. If you pre-ordered it, uh, Authorized Bounty Hunter, he's a big chunky guy, so I'm just cleaning them up and building them today. I also got the Yojimbo model, uh, he's a mercenary on a bike, he also, oh, that's the, that's the, uh, standing version, the bike version is in here, and then there's two crazy koalas, I also have an M10 tank destroyer, and then, uh, the blue and pink back there they're glued together we just have the start of three Tau bunkers this is a landing pad that's gonna have an access slanted guy I have a whole bunch of pieces to make a generator back there I have two like firing pods and then I ran out of foam, 2 inch foam, that I need to make a center piece that's going to involve that can. <laughs> so when I get more foam, I will get that project finished up. And it's due just at the, around the start of January, so it'll get done before then. And then I have finished up uh, almost all the pieces for this project for Client KM. So let's start over here. We have open tree stands with, again, all removable trees. And there are ruins mixed in. There is scattered uh, propaganda posters and whatnot around. Have two large rocks. Same deal. And then there are uh, four of these smaller uh, scattered ruins. Two one inch hills. We got the pond. I put some bubbles in that pond. I don't even have any resin right now, but I'm gonna get some resin uh, just before or over the holiday sometime. Another piece, I got the grime streaking on them and whatnot. And then there is these three. Mm, like wall sections. I have to build up four bunkers for this project so I did some bits for the bunkers that I had laying around. Uh, these are three uh, bunk beds. I got five of these lockers and then I just have some random jerry cans and bed rolls. And then there is two large corner ruins so more than more than the corner it's got three sides. It's got a staircase leading up and a hole through that side there. And I didn't put anything in the windows because they is for Warhammer 40k, so it is true line of sight game. And therefore you can get behind your miniature, look through the window, and see what he sees. Or shoot a laser through there, or whatever you want to do. Uh, that one has a sprayed up aquila on the front. Got some buttresses on these. Uh, uh, gothic type ones and then this is a centerpiece type uh, garage slash like compound type building so let's basically this whole side's caved in and there is this open uh, like garage door type of thing it's got like pistons that open it up and close it. And it's stuck in the open position or whatever. There is an exploded hole out there. There's the third aquila that I sprayed on. And then, it all kind of makes sense. There is the stairs that did exist. They have now fallen from an access hole that would have been here or whatever. The stairs and upper floor would have been normal when it was actually built and then this is uh, like a textured plastic card 
And then we have two computer consoles. I'm gonna put a whole bunch of like scattered papers and stuff around here that won't impede with gaming at all. They'll just be glued to the ground. And then there is a kind of ruined ladder up to this hatch that doesn't really exist anymore, but there's a little bit of access space up here to place miniatures. So that's what I got going on. Uh, oh yeah. And then from the cast, this is for the Skaven project that is going to, once I get back from holidays, it's getting uh, full-blown going on it. So these are just the cast uh, stalagmites that I did. And I just put some on these bases just to... These are going to be small little scatter pieces that can be placed around the two boards. So if you are interested in some custom terrain or miniature painting commissions, you can email me at info at greenleafterrain.com and I can get back to you with a quote. Other than that, I don't think I'll be making any more videos... Yeah, probably not before, the, before I leave. So, happy holidays, everybody stay safe, and happy wargaming.